Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Ray Mundy here. Today I'm gonna to read this book. It's called Penguins by Penelope Arland and to Tori Gordon-Harris. I want you to get a little more information about um, some penguins before we go on our virtual trip to the zoo. I'm not gonna read the whole book to you, but I do wanna share some important facts from the book. Here we go. This page says, or the heading, what is a penguin? A penguin is a bird, but unlike most other birds, penguins cannot fly. Instead, they live mostly in the water. Penguins are excellent swimmers. More penguins. The smallest penguin is only about knee high, and the biggest is as tall as a seven-year-old child. There's lots of different penguins. Even more penguins. The tallest penguin, which is an emperor penguin, is as tall as this boy. Penguins on land. Penguins look very funny when they are on land. They stand completely upright on their two feet, just like we do. Some of them get around by walking or sliding or leaping out of the water. Penguins in the sea. Penguins may be slow on land, but they are excellent swimmers. They are the only flightless birds in the world that can swim underwater. It actually looks like they're flying underwater. They hold their breath, they leap and they dive, and penguins actually paddle. They do take underwater naps. It says some penguins spend up to nine months in the ocean. Nobody knows how they sleep. Scientists think they must take short naps or beneath the surface, uh, or beneath the surface. Penguin feathers. Penguin bodies are perfectly adapted to cold, which is why they can survive in places that most animals can't. Their feathers keep them warm and dry. Here are some photos of penguins and their feathers. The Iceberg Cafe. Welcome to the Iceberg Cafe. On the menu today are all the delicious sea creatures that penguins love to eat. Penguins only feed in the water. We have krill, we have squid, we have lanternfish. Penguins love fish. Penguins have to hold their breath and dive to catch fish. Danger. On land and at sea, penguins have to look out for danger. There are vicious predators ready to grab them for a meal. Some of them are orcas, gulls, people, and leopard seals. Galapagos penguins. Galapagos penguins live on islands much farther north than any other penguins do. They are the rarest penguin in the world. That means there's not a lot of them. Rockhopper penguins. Rockhopper penguins are small crested penguins that live on rocky islands. They are very good at jumping and climbing on steep cliffs. Macaroni penguins. There are more macaroni penguins in the world than any other penguin. Scientists estimate there are about 13 million macaronis alive today. Yellow-eyed penguins. Yellow-eyed penguins are the only species with yellow eyes. They are in the greatest danger of becoming extinct because their habitat is threatened. Their numbers are constantly going down. This page has a very special penguin. It's a fairy penguin, and I have a fairy penguin right here. This penguin is actually part of our family. Her name is Lovey. Fairy penguins are the smallest penguins. They are also known as little penguins or blue penguins. Can you guess why? Nesting. When penguins want to have chicks, they usually return to the place where they were born. Each pair finds a safe place to make a nest and keep the eggs. Baby 
penguins. Female penguins lay their eggs. Then the male or female sits on them for 30 to 60 days, depending on their species. The eggs hatch into fluffy chicks. And I have two little baby chicks right here. And you can see they are fluffy and their feathers um, keep them warm. They're not allowed to go in the water because their feathers are not waterproof yet. But when they're about five months old, their fluffy feathers turn into waterproof feathers and then they could go into the water. Gentoo penguins. Gentoo penguins usually have bright orange bills and feet. They swim near the Antarctic islands and go ashore to nest. Chinstrap penguins. A chinstrap penguin is easy to recognize because it has a black stripe beneath its chin that looks like a chinstrap. You can see it right there. Adelie penguins. Adelie penguins live in the chilly waters around Antarctica. They are strong swimmers and they sometimes travel more than 60 miles to find food. Here we have an Adelie penguin. His name is Bubby. He's part of our family too. King penguins. King penguins are easy to recognize because of the bright yellow and orange plumage on their heads and necks. The Emperor's Journey. I have one last penguin. Do you know what kind he is? He's an emperor penguin. For thousands of years, emperor penguins have taken an extraordinary journey each year to breed in one of the harshest climates on earth. And you can see, there they are lining up from emperor egg to chick. Here is a timeline of how a baby hatches. All grown up, as the weather gets slightly warmer in Antarctica, the ice melts and the emperor penguin breeding ground is nearer to the ocean. The chicks have only a short journey to the edge of the ice for their first plunge. And that's the end of the book. It has a glossary in the back with lots of facts and a thank you page. If you've ever seen the movie Happy Feet or the Disney um, movie Penguins, they have a lot of great facts about penguins too. If you're able to check out this book and have mom or dad read um, the other facts to you, I definitely would recommend checking it out. All right, bye boys and girls.